Hey guys, it's Mark again. Uh, working on a 2013 Polaris Pro R800. We're having a starter problem. I made this video so you could see how to access it. Basically the starter was spinning over but not starting the snowmobile. So we knew that we had to address something between the starter and where it would engage the engine. So to get to that, long story short, you have to fully remove the exhaust tube centerpiece and the Y bracket to get down to the bolts that mount to the piece that we probably have an issue with. At least, nonetheless, we got to take it out to do an inspection. So, what you need to do is get a spring removal tool. It's pretty simple. It's a T-handle with a hook. You could probably make one out of anything. It's got to be pretty rigid metal because you got to yank on these pretty hard, but... It's pretty much how you remove all the springs. Now, I already took off all the other ones, so... I'll speed this up for us. This thing's kind of tricky how to get it out of here. Set that down. Now, you got to take off this Y exhaust. This bolts directly to the block. Uh, there's eight bolts, four per side. There's two here, two there, two underneath, and then you can see that one there, and another one down there, a total of eight. It's a six millimeter Allen. Once you take that off, you can get a lot better angle at removing and accessing the starter system. So what we did is we actually went and connected uh, the unit here, uh, we clip the front end to the bottom and you can actually push it up and connect it and start it. And what we saw was the gear was not kicking out. So something was wrong. The spring on it appears to still be working and it wasn't kicking the drive gear out to engage to the snowmobile shaft and therefore it wouldn't turn the engine over. So the starter was working, and the way this works is it has a starter, and then they have a drive shaft, or a flex shaft, I believe it's called, by Polaris, and it's a flexible drive, and it goes over to a unit, which so it's a three-piece kit. I'll show you a close-up. This is at the end of the cable, which attaches here. This bolts with three bolts, six millimeter allens um, what we had on our old one here so we had some burnt off tips from wear poor engagement but the issue wasn't that it was actually inside so if you take this it should only go one way this is natural for you to spin it one way and it comes out. There's a worm gear, if you can see, on that shaft. And that's what kicks it out to engage it. And that's normal. The spring out here forces it back. The problem was is that when you actually spin it, it goes the other way. And it wasn't working. You can spin this, but you can see the shaft wasn't going. And it should not do that. That should lock. At least the brand new unit did. So that's how we knew that this was a bad part, is we just went and got a new one and then matched this to the new part. And the new part would do this as well, but it would not spin here. So we knew that this was a bad unit. Uh, the, the gearing inside between the shaft and this sprocket is bad, basically. This is about a $160 part at your Polaris dealership. Um, and then you're going to have to also go ahead and plan on buying yourself a new gasket for the connection between your exhaust and your block. Then you put it back in reverse order. So we put 
this back in. I believe they use red Loctite on the three bolts to hold in the new part. And then we'll go ahead and put this exhaust tube back in, put all the springs back in using our spring tool. And then we can put all the body panels back on, get back on the road. That's Mark. Stay tuned for more videos.